Hello, Jason. My name is Sean Everett. I am a website analysis expert, and Eric over at uh, Zucker Marketing sent me your website for analysis. I found some things out that I hope will be helpful to you, um, and it's not about the aesthetics. You have a beautiful website. Uh, uh, it's really well done, um, but it is uh, it needs some tweaks in order to become a better website for you because it's no longer a novelty to have a website. This website should be bringing you customers. Having a good looking website is what's gonna bring people in, but getting them here is uh, what you need to concentrate on. And I'm gonna show you how to get them there, uh, one of the ways, and how to get them there is exactly within your uh, website itself. Now, I'm gonna show you, I have a couple of things that I look at. I look at first, I have a paid tool that shows me some of the metrics of your site. I look at a list, I see what the areas are around you, Roosevelt, Smyre, et cetera. Uh, and then I look at a Google search. Now this is where uh, I think that I need to begin explaining things. Then uh, follow me along here. These are all things you can see yourself uh, or try yourself. And, and now I see it that you are at the very top of this. Now that is great. That is so good. That is something you have done right. Somebody in your business had the smarts, maybe it was you, I hope it was you, went to Google and filled out a Google business profile. Now a Google business profile, uh, as you know, is sort of like a, a Facebook profile. And the reason that you're at the top is because Google rewards thoroughness. You went and you filled in every single blank that they have, much more than Fat Matt did. You can see because you have one, two, three, four, five lines, and Fat Matt has one, two, three, four. Now, I'm not going to body shame Matt, but he could have done a better job. Um, th now, that being said, uh, uh, underneath the map pack, now this is a great place to be, are the what we call the organic search results. Uh, uh, forgive me if you hear barking in the background. Somebody has released the hounds near the uh, uh, website analysis office here. Um, uh, they have stopped now, thank goodness. Uh, what I'm going to tell you next is that the organic search results are the result of the Google uh, algorithm. The Google algorithm was designed to make Google customers, their search customers, have the most relevant results. Now, relevant results are something, look at this. Now, I went to that uh, second page of the businesses here. You can search by relevance or distance. Relevance is the thing that Google decides that they have put the lock on. They think they know everything when it comes to relevance. Now, relevance is determined by two things. Here's that paid tool I was showing you about. It's determined by keywords and backlinks. Now, you are already at the top of this, but if Andrus Brothers decides to go and fill out a, a Google business profile, you're gonna move down one, and then so on and so on if, if say, uh, What's this? Lubbock Roofing Contractor also decides to fill in the Google Business Profile. You get knocked down another one because everything on here, the order that I'm going in here is decided by the Google algorithm. Now, satisfying the Google algorithm is not mysterious. It's not like a mystery. We know what the Google algorithm is looking for. And I just showed you one of the two things, keywords. The other thing is backlinks. Now, let me show you what I mean. Uh, I'm going to refer to Andrus Brothers because they're at the top of this as your uh, big Google competitor, just for argument's sake. Here is your website. I'm going to select all, copy, and paste this into this word counter. You have 242 words. I'm going to do the same with Andrus. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste into this other word counter. They have 758 words. If you are an algorithm, you look for more. More is better. 758 beats your 200 some odd words, right? It's just the way computers work. More is better. Now, the words do matter, though. You can continue to have a, 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 a words that are not necessarily as many as them, but it would be better if you did. And Google really wants you to have 1,500 words in order to consider you a legitimate business in your category, in your industry. So you have a long way to go to catch up to that. Now I'm gonna show you what those words are and why they matter. Here are the keywords. You have in your website 29, Andrus has 270. They have 10 times the number of keywords that you do. Here are their keywords. Roofing companies Lubbock, Lubbock uh, Roofing Lubbock. Uh, 
Andrus Brothers, obviously, designer shingles. Now, this is a good one to, to think about because they have composition designer shingles listed on their website. If you don't have that listed on your website, when somebody types in designer shingles, because that's what they want, your site simply isn't going to come up. Uh, uh, I'm going to describe it to you this way. If I wanted to have, say, a red balloon uh, in great numbers, I could type in balloon manufacturer, and that's one way to get there. Now, I could also type in factory that makes red balloons, and that's going to be a completely different search because the search words that I put in there are, are what determines what comes up in the search. The same is true of these. These are all search words that people have used to get to sites, uh, uh, to get to the Andrus site uh, in the last month or so. Now, uh, metal roofing, do you have that on there? Here's another one that I'm gonna ask you about right off the bat. Let me see if you have it. I hope you do. I'm gonna do find, I'm gonna do best, uh, best roofer. There you go. That's exactly what I was looking for, best roofer. Now, you know, another, uh, 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 another option for that would be best roofing company, and you don't have that. So you see what I'm saying? Just slight variations. Somebody types in the best roofing company, your site is not going to come up. So there are some tweaks that you can do. You can sit around also with your coworkers and, and think about what the various uh, words are in your industry because it's not just metal roofing. It could be gutters. It could be a uh, uh, shake roof. It could be shingles or uh, uh, a lot of people apparently are liking designer asphalt in the Lubbock area. So uh, um, commercial roofing manufacturers. All of these things are, are satisfied. These questions are satisfied in the Andrus Brothers website. You want to satisfy more search results than they have. That's the first thing that I can tell you because you've already done an important thing by filling out the, the business profile. So let's go to, on to number three. Number three is this number, backlinks. The backlinks are uh, when you appear on another site that refers back to your site. Now you have 311, Andrus has 924. You have about a, a, a third less than what they have. Here are their backlinks. They are on expertise.com, they are on yellow pages. They are no longer on porch.com. There's an opportunity. Uh, Super Pages, Owens Corning, the manufacturer of uh, websites. Aren't you have, well, you have Malarkey and you have GAF. But uh, uh, getting onto uh, manufacturer's websites is a good way to go. Anything that is, say, 60 or higher, you want to be on. Now, they don't have that many 60 or higher. You have an opportunity to find out what the other ones are on. For instance, Angie's, I know, Angie's list is rated at 91. Being on that would beat them in this category. So you don't have to necessarily get to, uh, what was it, uh, 924 backlinks. You can just have more relevant backlinks, and that will raise your, your uh, uh, placement on the Google listing. And that's what we're talking about here. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to scroll down until it bump stops. It bump stops there at the related searches. And then after I wait for a second, it types in more. All of these people above here are more likely to have somebody who has a Dorito in one hand and a, and a mouse in the other, uh, uh, you know, search for something. They're going to stop about there and say, well, I'm going to have plenty of options if I go from here on up. Now, uh, like I said, your placement here is great, but you stand to lose it if any of these other companies begin to compete with each other in the Google world. Now, the Google uh, algorithm uh, uh, rewards thoroughness. It rewards uh, um, uh, numerically higher things. You want to have more uh, 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 organic keywords than your competitors do. You want to have more backlinks than your competitors do. And this is where it plays out. In the last month, you have had two people click on your site as a result of a Google search. Andrus has had 288. You know which number has resulted in more requests for estimates and more requests for information. And as a result, more customers and more money in your pocket. So uh, you have to not treat this as a, uh, a pretty thing anymore. It is a pretty thing. That's what's going to get people to click and go in. But you have to also concentrate on what people, what brings people here. And what brings people here is this. Google is the gorilla in the room. And when the gorilla wants to dance, you dance. So satisfy the gorilla 
the gorilla's algorithm. I almost said Google algorithm. Uh, or anyway, uh, satisfy the, the gorilla's algorithm. And that will get you higher placement on this. It will maintain your spot here. And you can be in both places, here and here. That will make you a much more legitimate option for people who are searching, I promise. So uh, make your website become a tool for your business. And uh, uh, one of the things I will tell you is that the things I just told you are not hard to do, but they are time consuming. And that's where I think Eric could come in handy. Uh, Eric knows how to do all of the things that I've told you. Uh, and uh, so if any of what I've told you makes sense, if you want to have this become a better tool for your business and make more money for you, give Eric a call and he can guide you through the next steps. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.